Either. I got this. Hey folks, this is IOE Threat, and we're back with some more World Tanks. So as you can see, this is Howie Mac in his IS-4. This is a tier 10 game on Prov... Ro Rovka? Something like that? Somebody literally just told me how to pronounce this in, uh, in the comments, and I have messed it up again, because I'm awesome. Um, and... Yeah, I'm totally awake. That's why I'm trying to push buttons to drive. I need to wake up, apparently. Anyway, so, this is... Um, yes, Helmax seems to be incredibly excited to be on an open map in a heavy tank. Wouldn't you be, right? Right? I would be totally excited for this. Uh, he's decided to push up the six line, and before we get into battle, as always, um, if you want to support the channel, best three ways to do so are hit that like button if you've enjoyed the content. Um, especially if you're starring in this, right? You should be sharing it with your friends. And um, head on over to Patreon if you want to support uh, the fact that it's an ad-free channel and fund the next feature game. I still have no idea what that will be. It will depend on the patron supporters. Um, so yeah. That's We'll see what he sees as he is creeping through these bushes, trying to get a shot on either that 5100. Oh, he is going to get a shot. Nope, not quite, sadly. He's going to, yep, just keep going. And uh, really wants a shot on that 5100. He's not going to get it. Does, however, get a shot into that pad and, and uh, hits the pad for almost 500 damage. That poor guy cannot be happy about that. As he's going to. No, he's debating pushing forward. Um, but the guys up on that, oh, their guys up on this hill are going to make that not a great plan. Uh, as long as they're up there. 771 is in a weird spot. We would not have expected to see 771 over there. He's going to regret this, though. We get bounced off by the patent. I didn't even see if we put damage into the sense that wouldn't be a, a lot of incoming fire though. T54 is now experiencing that incoming fire. He gets out of there. That was not a great exchange. Um, oh! But we do kill the 5100 um, with the object up on the hill. Good, 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 good. That looks a lot like a T95. Um, so we're just going to shift this background a little bit to uh, get it to go away, hopefully. Kind of, close enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're still not able to see targets over there. So we, we're we pretty sure there's somebody over there. Uh, there's got to be. There we go. Not able to get a shot on them yet. Uh, nope, doesn't look like they're going to poke it far enough for us to get a, sh a shot. Hit T-54 is now on guard duty looking for that. Amec- er, 50 there. FV-215B crosses the middle um, to try and get into that dip. Does manage to make it in uh, unscathed because he got lucky. Well, no, I won't say unscathed. He's on t barely 10% health. He's going to be dead in a couple seconds. Good shot. Unscathed by us is what I was meant to say, and then uh, Hombach went ahead and decided to make me wrong on that, and I'm okay with that, because a dead enemy is a good enemy. Shooting this pattern for, again, for almost 500 damage, and gaming on this rock. So the incoming fire from over there, where the tank destroyers reside, will be pretty negligible. Um, only be able to hit our side uh, at such a bleak angle, it's just going to bounce right off, which is for the best. Still trying to get a line on this pattern. He's uh, behind the um, 5100 so far back. We can barely even see him moving. Um, as we're getting pinged by it. Uh, RU251. That's the one, what we're getting pinged by. And the grill. And dead pattern. I guess he saw enough incoming fire 
off his friendlies that he decided that we must be a pretty soft target. Um, but this is not, yeah, there we go. Should have done that a little while ago. But uh, now we're in a bad spot. Because with uh, barely six, not even 600 health left, um, the amount of incoming fire that's going to continue to hit us is rather higher than we want it to be. Yeah, and now we're tracked in a really bad spot on no health at all. But, apparently we're able to get away with it. Cool. And look, we can return fire. Good job. Go roll, but that's okay. Uh, I was worth um, at least we got to return fire Scorpion G looks like he's aiming at us but we'll instead snipe the other one out it's most likely actually aiming at the SP-1C so our gun uh, jerks upwards for reasons grill stops so we might as well pick him off and uh, now we're just gonna get back in a cover the mo uh, their entire team is over here somewhere I've just realized they have a platoon of RU-251s. I was kind of wondering how they could be in two places at once, but didn't really think about it until just now. Centurion is going in, but we're going to stop that RU-251 that was going to clean up the SP-1C. And now he's going to be moving to try and get lights for his tank destroyers back there. There's still a T-30 back there. So this game is still not over yet. The T-30 can definitely wreck us, with uh, an HE shell. It doesn't matter where an HE shell hits us. If it detonates, we are dead. Um, it can wreck the prototype. It can wreck that IS-6. Like a T-30, if we give him the time to reload and continue firing, he will take our team apart. Now, unfortunately, because of the location these guys are in, they're going to have to push across two or maybe three shells of fire from that T-30 to get across this open zone. Um, and so that's going to be at least one tank dead, maybe more. I'm also betting that we have, that there is most likely a uh, an RU-251 up here in this bush, or along this ridge line somewhere, and that's who's spotting us every time we go to crest this ridge line. Yeah. So we need somebody with some health to go forward and absorb a shell. Uh, so that is probably going to be our prototype, assuming he ever decides to move up. We see one of the RUs doing a scouting run right there. The other one, we fire into this bush. Man, I'm not. Was I in fixed camera mode? I was not. My bad. Two shots into that bush. Neither one um, is either a kill or um, he's trying to find the second bush now. Oh, there we go. So he was on that ridge line and not in the bush um, where I originally said. But that's okay. He must have fired. That's the only way he should have got revealed, which means he does something really dumb. Um, we did a target and pop him. Oh! Got absorbed by his tracks and didn't even break his tracks. Wow, that's unfortunate. And in the meantime, we're letting that T-30 just continue to fire. And um, that's really bad. T-30, with the ability to just, just fire shells whenever it wants to, is just going to destroy us. Uh, thankfully, we are bouncing some shells. Though if they loaded HE, we wouldn't be bouncing. Ugh. That was some heat that we just bounced, or APCR. I don't know which comes out of the two... Um, out of the light tanks gun, most likely APCR. Either way, it was gold that bounced off of us, and that was bad. Uh, we do not we need to get shot by anything that we don't need to be get shot by. We also sh shouldn't be firing any rounds that we don't need to be firing. Um, because they're... Uh, yes, if we hit whew, an RU, we will kill it, but now we're down to just gold ammo. Um, it's prototype take a huge hit, so we know the T-30 has fired. And this is the opportunity to get in there if we're going to try and get in. Um, 
Albeit though, if anyone has Ruos Meiji, this could go really badly. So Hamak is trying to find a, a place where he can get in without getting dead. And he's looking like he's gonna use this rock and this bush. That should be a a dead scorpion, except it missed apparently. And uh, Hamak is not happy at all about that. <laughs> yeah, T57. How he does take him out, though he gets. A little rolled from that T30 over there and almost taken out but not quite he's still sticking around in this game that T30 as long as it continues firing is going to obliterate our team um, and one thing to note is that everyone left on the team is in fact a one shot for that T30 actually two of us if that thing goes HE are a one shot um, <laughs> um, oh, unfortunately not able to snag that kill. But what they, what the position they are in is if uh, these two join the platoon, um, then if they can get somebody with one kill to join the platoon, then uh, and. Of course, our two heavy hitters up front here get these last two kills. Then we will have a crucial contribution. No, unfortunately, we lose the T57 heavy. We do reload in time to smack the T30. Um, but now we have an issue because there, we only have a lonely IS6. Oh, T30 gets taken out. Good job. Now, yes, we can still win this, but we can definitely still lose this. The M4A1, um, re I'm gonna screw this name up. Reverly, Reverly Say? You know, I, I used to speak French. I should be able to pronounce this name, but I really can't. <laughs> the M4A1 Rev over there uh, can definitely take us out if he plays this smart. If he shoots the IS from cover, um, like concealment, uh, in such a way that he does not get lit, which is definitely implausible. And then he can two-shot the IS, potentially without ever getting lit. Which would be really, be really bad for us. IS-6, by the way, is what I was talking about there. Not. Um, and then, of course, he just has to HE us to death. So, yeah. This is going to be an issue. Unless we can find this guy, trap him, and kill him... Um, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> As uh, Halmak figures out what I've figured out already, and he is inviting everyone he possibly can to the platoon. I really want this crucial. Did we get somebody? We got. Yes, we got the ISU. Good. Okay, so now the Halimak needs to secure this kill for the crucial, but um, even if he doesn't and they win this, it will still be a victory. I'm surprised they couldn't find it. He must be back here. Um. I'm surprised I didn't see him. There's no way he snuck across this flat zone. So I guess he could have probably snuck across this this way and been over here somewhere. But, uh, oh well. Um, they're going to go and cap this out instead. Which is a smart choice. Excuse me for a sec. I am feeling under the weather. My throat is extremely dry and sore right now. Um, not particularly certain what this IS-6 is doing. But um, he obviously thinks whatever he's doing is right. And so we're just going to let him keep doing it. Because, oh, there is the M4. Missing the shot as Hymac jumps in front of... 
the guy who's got the most cap points right now. Unfortunately, not able to t to block the shot for him. Now he's going to use the wreck for cover if he can get behind the wreck. Um, no, not able to. Not firing HE. He instead fires some uh, some gold ammo, and unfortunately for him, that is not going to do what he wanted it to do. He gets right up on the ridge line so that we can shoot him easier, obviously and bounces off of us. Now if he loads some HE, A, he'll kill us most likely, and B, he'll definitely reset the cap and this will be over, but it, it doesn't matter. We weren't going to be able to cap this for a victory. We needed to kill him for the victory, and he needed to kill us for the, his victory. I don't know why he didn't just fire some HE. That, by the way, is a prime example of why in every single tank I own, I carry at least three rounds of HE. Because if that M4 had fired, uh, if the last two rounds he'd fired at us had been HE and not gold rounds, we would be dead. This game would have been over. He would have won for his team and carried a tier 10 game in a tier 8 tank. But he didn't. Because instead of firing HE like he should have been, he was firing gold and it bounced like it was definitely going to tier 8 gun against tier 10 armor, especially from the front when he can't see any weak points. I mean, this is what he was shooting at. Yeah, he could try and shoot for this, but from that far away, this is a really small target. Next best target is maybe the driver's port? Hmm, there isn't really a next best target after that. This is his only real way to pen. And I obviously was not he was shooting center mass. Now, yes, he could have been shooting for that driver's port, but most likely he was just shooting shot center mass. If he had loaded HG and shot center mass, we would be dead. This game would be over for his team instead of ours. And we would he would have denied the crucial contribution. Load some HG, okay? Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and Shellproof. Managing to snag all of that. And a cool-headed... Huh. Yeah, okay. Spartan. Crucial Contribution. A Steel Wall. And a Top Gun. This is the coveted medal in all of those. But um, getting one of these is uh, rare as well. And definitely not something you actually want to be striving for, but it works it pretty well. Look at that. All those bounces. Seven bounces from him for a one. Rev. Rev. Uh. Or. You say. Close enough. Um. Like, I mean, if some of those have been HE, like they should have been then that would have been a different ending. G great game played by the RU251. This guy, obviously, look at it. 3,500 spawning damage done. This guy deserves props. But major props to these two. Without this, these two, this game would have been over a long time ago. And, um, look at that. 58 damage. He manages to snag a crucial contribution. That guy just upped his debts. <laughs> See, you hang around, you uh, you wait till the end of the game, and somebody needs a uh, a platoon mate, and you you too can earn a crucial contribution without doing any work. That was that was good. Look at that. He blocks seven thousand damage. That's more damage than he did all game. It's more damage than anyone did in this game, and more damage than most of his team all put together. Um. That was a great game. Thank you so much, Hamak, for sending this in. Unfortunately, spending all the money on that because he fired all but one of his rounds in his tank. Um, one more shell uh, fired earlier in the game, and that would have been a Faden's, which would have been awesome, but, you know, risky as anything. <laughs> so... Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel, the best three ways are still hit the like button. Tell all your friends, especially if you're starring this. And, of course, 
um, head on over to Patreon so you can support the next feature game. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.